I went to elementary school at Perrin, which actually used to be an elementary school. It was a Perrin Jet and came on up through Dillingham and Piner and Sherman High School. Had wonderful, wonderful teachers all along the way. Well, growing up, you know, you, we went to the Bearcat Games every Friday night and they were so much fun. My oldest brother, I'm the youngest of three, was a football player and I remember going and watching those cheerleaders. I could probably still name every one of them by name. Um, watching the guys play out on the field, it just, I could not wait to get to Sherman High School. Um, before I started Piner, my seventh grade year, my oldest brother was killed in a car wreck and um, it was devastating, it was life changing. And that is when looking back now, I really realized the love of this community. Mary Jackson was the counselor at Piner and she was invaluable. I mean, she checked on me all the time. She would call me down to her office, things I didn't think I even needed to talk about or um, I thought I was having a great day doing just fine and she just always seemed to know exactly what I needed each day and just really took over and helped me get through what was a very difficult year. There were a lot of teachers that year that really poured their hearts out to me, but she just really stands out as somebody that was really there for me to make sure that I was doing okay, as was many, many, many community members. And when you look back at that, you see the love that makes up Sherman and that makes up the Bearcats. So when I hear the fight song, when we go to the football games on Friday nights, even now, it takes me back to being that young girl watching the football team. It takes me back to being a cheerleader, um, cheering on that fight song, doing the same dance that they still do these days. It's just a heartwarming home feeling. When I was in high school and did finally become a cheerleader, our cheerleading sponsor was Marla Jones, MJ as we lovingly called her. She was very instrumental throughout my high school um, time. She was our sponsor all four years and she was the person that you could go to and talk to about anything. She would listen, she had good advice, she knew exactly what to say, she knew your feelings. It wasn't a facade either, she gen genuinely cared for um, her students and lo and behold my oldest started Dillingham this year and in we walked to orientation nervous about him going to this big school and there is MJ now known as Marla Hooker and she is the vice principal at Dillingham so it was just wonderful to see her and know that she is there while my son is starting his Dillingham career. Now that my children are in Sherman schools um, I, I just could not be more thrilled because I know that they are going to feel the love and support that this community and that our school district offers to everyone. Sometimes they may not appreciate it, um, but as a parent, I genuinely love the idea that maybe I will hear if they are doing something wrong, I want to know. If they are doing something right, I want to know. But most importantly, that it's just the community that cares. One of the things I'm involved in um, now that I'm back in Sherman is the Sherman Education Foundation and um, we have an event every year called the Circle of Success in which we honor students from Sherman High School that have displayed outstanding service character and leadership. So I get to work with these kids a lot of times and it's really interesting to see the talent and intelligence and heart for service that is coming out of Sherman Schools. And I think that that is grown within our district. And so as a mother, I am thrilled at the fact that my boys are gonna be surrounded in a community that really encourages service and character and leadership. I think those are very important qualities to have. Remember the first time I went to the Circle of Success dinner, and heard about these students and all the wonderful things that they have done. My husband and I looked at each other and thought, they've done more in 18 years than we've done in 30 whatever years. So hearing that and seeing that and knowing that we are raising our children in that environment and in this district is just heartwarming. My name is Jennifer Johnstone Shelby and I am a graduate of the Bearcat class of 1998. And I am proud to be a Bearcat and very proud to be raising some Bearcats.